In September of 2019, James Karinchak made his MLB debut with the Cleveland Indians, throwing just five innings that month, but during the shortened 2020 season, Karinchak showed us a little more of what he was capable of, pitching a really good 27 innings that year and carried that success into 2021, starting the year with 13 straight scoreless appearances and had an overall really good first half of the season. One thing was pretty clear though thanks to the internet, it was pretty obvious Karen Chak was a user of the sticky stuff, whether it was spider tack, pine tar, whatever. It was clear he would be affected by the sticky stuff crackdown, and he most definitely was. After pitching to a 2.60 ERA in the months of April, May, and June, Karen Chak pitched to an ERA over 6.5 in July, August, and one day in October, giving up 5 home runs in that span and finishing the year with an ERA over 4. 2022 then arrived, the Cleveland's new name Guardians inaugural season, and after missing the first few months due to a shoulder injury, Karen Chak would make his official return in early July and pitch like one of the best relievers in the game from that point forward, pitching to an ERA just slightly over 2 in 39 innings, which was the ninth best among qualifying relief pitchers all year. James Karinchak has talent and a lot of potential to be great. He's shown that over the last couple of years in Cleveland. But one thing has also been shown by the man, which is that he is the biggest maniac in baseball. Really quick, but if you enjoy the content, become part of the 30% of viewers who are subscribed. Thank you. I don't necessarily mean maniac as an insult either. It's basically part of his game to act the way he does on the mound and probably what helps him actually. I mean, the dude always seems to be on high alert, full of energy, almost like he's on freaking crack. Karen check. Walks the leadoff man and then strikes out three in a row. Oh, he froze him. And Karinchek dances off the diamond. Bottom of the t and he blew it right by him. James Karinchek roaring off the mound. Fastball by him. Couple of K's for Karinchek. Oh, Uncle Charlie. And James Karinchek indeed does. Pull the rabbit out of the hat. As you all probably know by now, one of MLB's new rules starting in 2023 is the pitch clock that's been implemented to speed things up and have less dead time. And it looks like Karen Check is going to have to get used to it. On opening day in Seattle against the Mariners, Karen Check was having serious trouble managing how much time to take in between pitches, becoming the first Cleveland pitcher with a pitch clock violation. And then on the next pitch, almost like he was totally rattled, Air mails a fastball to the backstop, much to the crowd's pleasure. And on the pitch after that, the time on the clock kept winding down and it was clear Karen Check would not be throwing a pitch in time, forcing his catcher to call time so he didn't get another violation. He'd end up walking Crawford in that at bat, hit Colton Wong, and then give up a three run opposite field home run to tie France. The Mariners won the game three outs in the ninth later, and Karen Chak got the loss, but that wasn't the end, folks. In the third game of the series, Karen Chak took the mound again in the eighth inning, this time with a two to nothing lead, and this time the crowd was ready, trolling Karen Chak by counting down the pitch clock. Watch and listen. On the clock. Karen Chak ended up getting in and out of trouble, striking out Julio Rodriguez, and the dude was amped. Mm, he did. Let's go. And Rodriguez goes down swinging on the fastball. After the game, he was asked about the fans counting down and if it affected him or not. Can you hear them counting down, or do you block? Can you get in the zone and block it out? Uh, I mean, you can hear it, but again, I'm trying to, trying to stay, stay present and uh, next to you was cold. Feel when you get when you, you know, get out of that inning and, and you know, you kind of stuck it to him. Uh, it feels great, man. Uh, really no words. Karen Chuck hasn't had the greatest of starts to the season, but maybe that Julio Rodriguez punch out will get him going. Or not. Either way, it's always going to be fun watching Karen Chuck on the mound. The biggest maniac in the game.